Everything is all right. I'm your host, Andrew Dick. <laughs> Okie dokie, kids. What's happening on the lovely island of St. Martin? Of course, it was a busy weekend. It was Congress launch galore this weekend. And it's going to continue going like this with a number of issues that's going to um, be presented to you, the public, because it's election season. So everybody has a launch. Everybody has an announcement. Everybody wants you to know how much they care. Let me start off with um, the first launch that took place, um, which was uh, of the Now Party. <laughs> I kind of messed up with somebody. Uh, they, they, they called me and it was like, hey, um, Andrew. And I was like, first of all, why are you calling? Everybody just, just WhatsApp, send my WhatsApp, don't call me. But anyway, they called me and it was like, hey, you going now? I was like, going now where? It was like, you, no, I go in now. You going now? I was like, what are you talking about? What now? Of course, I was messing with him because it was fun. And then he was like, yeah, I go in now later, but I want to know if you going now because I want to catch a ride because I want to go now. I was like, but what now are you talking about? I ain't going nowhere. I just staying by myself. What are you talking about? I ain't, no, I ain't, I ain't going now. He's like, oh, so you're going to go later to now? I said, wait, later to now? There ain't no English. What are you talking about, buddy? He was like, yeah, but I'm going now. You ain't going now? Everybody going now because they're giving away prizes. I was like, oh, now the political party. Hmm. Anyway, it was, of course, uh, a full house at the Bel Air Community Center. And um, I promise it wasn't because of the prizes that they, they promised to give away. It was because they wanted people to hear what Christophe Emmanuel, our independent member of parliament, had to say as uh, a new board was elected. Um, he is the leader now of the now, and then deputy leader is Claudius Boncampo. And then um, they also introduced some other new fresh blood candidates um, to the fold. Congratulations to all of the candidates, uh, the potential candidates, I should say, of the now party. Uh, we have your highlight. There's only one political party, one movement, one set of people that is hugging hands and grabbing each and every one of you more than pulling you back and saying we are going to reset. We are going to reset now to move forward. If you don't do that, we are in serious trouble. Our seniors will be in serious trouble. We are 
bad society now. But for some reason, for some reason, the good Lord bless him, just love this island. Because the manner in which we treat our senior citizens, we treat our school teachers, we treat our police officers. I have said this to them, you see that over there? And all the police officers living in those homes, if you live in it, you should own it. You have individuals living in homes that was built for low income for 25 years and still paying rent for it. How is that possible? How is that possible? Still paying rent for it. And they've been living there for 25 years. How long has it been for Harvey Lewis? How long? I think a year and a half after that, they started to build over there. Those first individuals who are there are still paying rent. Not no more. You live in it, you should own it. That's what I'm saying to people. You will never generate wealth by working, you generate wealth by owning. What do you own? Do you all know how many supermarkets on the island? How many grocery stores on the island? You don't know? 227. 227. I'm not counting the big ones. 237. And out of the 237, Two are local. Don't be surprised. Two are local. We love Samuel and Yoshu. Two. Two. But guess what? We make them rich. We make them rich. We are the ones doing that. Needs to stop. We cannot compete. And it's not for me to say that they should not be in business, but you should be in business too. You should own businesses as well. And you should get help to promote your business as well. For the ones right around, you better believe it. <laughs> I'm saying this to you. We didn't land on Fort Amsterdam. No. Fort Amsterdam landed on us. We are the ones that made them rich. We. We. Imagine. Imagine. The House of Orania made 30 billion guilders from salt cultivation in Zimbabwe. You see where the salt pond, the roundabout, the salt pickers roundabout? You know why they call it the salt pickers roundabout? The salt used to pile up there. Used to pile the salt up right there. High, 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 high. Your great, great grandmother, your great, great grandfather used to pick the salt. They used to lose their toes. If I'm saying something wrong, then somebody tell me I'm lying. Because the constant and the longevity of working in salt used to eat their toes away. They never used to feel it until it's gone. I'm telling you, your family, your ancestors. And when they're done piling up, the little schoolers come in. They have to fold it from there and then fold it there, then go out by the bishop and still fold that one too. And guess what? They couldn't go home with not one spoon of salt. Two hundred and twenty-five slaves built the courthouse for free. There was a plaque there. 
say to Google Pay for free. What are you building? What are you building? You, 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 you're going to get old. Each and every one of us are going to get old. We are going to look like Clifton soon. <laughs> soon. There is only two things in life. Two. Anybody tell me anything that's different? Don't know what they're saying. They're lying to you. There's only two things in life that's going to take care of you when you reach that glorious age. When you reach that age as being a senior citizen. I don't know my grandmother ever working. I don't know her ever working. Everywhere she go, she built and she owned. My uncle is there, my two cousins is there, my aunt is there, they are siblings. Am I saying something that is not true? Everywhere she go, she went to Bonaire, she built and she owned. She went to St. Croix, she built and she owned. She came from Aruba, she built and she owned. She came to St. Martin, she built and she owned. I don't know her working for someone. Two things in life are going to take care of you. Your money and your children. And most often times, your children put you in a home. So if you don't have money to take care of you, crap So I am saying to you, give us the opportunity so we, we can make the soil and the ground favorable for you to generate wealth. That's a good priority. That's, that's, that's a good priority. Yes. Okay. Um, what else happened also on Sunday? They had um, the uh, Junior Rolex. Rolex Junior. Yes, Junior Rolex Junior. Um, he had his launch. Uh, the USM was in full force um, in Suffolk Garden, and they also had a full house. Um, we have your highlights of that particular um, launching of uh, a learning center for um, those who are interested of learning about computers and learning how to do resumes and stuff and computer stuff. It was, it was interesting. Take a look. Please, Dr. Merritt. Guys, um, these last days, a call was coming up on me, and I really was fighting it hard for me to come give my speech today. And the lemon and the, and all the other stuff had really helped me. As you guys know, my name is Rolas Jr., Julian Rolas Jr., my father, born St. Martin, Middle Region, my mother, Astrid Rolax, from Curacao, a proud Curacaoanian. Um, I was born in St. Martin, St. Rose Hospital, and um, I was raised in Curacao. I came back to St. Martin in 2015 to work with my father, and um, of course I did my education in Curacao, I did my university in Curacao, and I completed my business um, in that business administration in, in Curacao. At the ICUC, I started at the Una, and I went over to the ICUC University. And came to St. Martin seeing the struggles of this country and the struggles that my dad been through doing business. And over and over again, you see politicians coming and saying, we are there for the people. And at the end of the day, they wind up crushing the people who is from St. Martin. And that's why I came with a slogan. No matter what you do, you crush me, you deny my permit, you take all my business, but you would never run me because I'm a born St. Martin. And I would like you to hear the best hit now that's going to come now. DJ, run the tune there because I want everybody to listen to the tune. Run the tune there, run the tune there so everybody can know that it just can't run nobody, just all of it. They can't run me from St. Martin. All right, listen to the tune. That's for the baby. That's a nice and tune. Nice and tune. Nice for you. Nice No matter what I do, 
Say my son as we stay right there. Run again, run again, last time, last time, run again, last time. Yes, a community that I also a part of, uh, let me say, um, voting for people that they don't have nothing for us. So I decided for last year to jump in the board from the URSM and decide to make a change. And how I met Mr. Rolox is, you know, by everywhere to see me playing domino there by his place in front and there we met each other and it was for me also great to hear that he also joined us in the URSM so like he said we're gonna make a good team and we're gonna work for the better of St. Martin. Thank you. Thank you Mr. Mo. Thank you Mr. Mo. I also would like to give a good other friend of us. Now back here home in sweet St. Martin land where leaders continue to lead and followers continue to follow. Uh, today, um, Auntie Sarah was on Lady Grace, um, the Breakfast Club on PGD2, PGD3, and also uh, MP Krisha Heiliger Martin. And of course, you know, they were there representing the Democratic Party. And um, Lady Grace asked Auntie Sarah, um, a nice question, which was the leadership. In not so many words, she asked, Sarah, how long are you going to continue being the leader of DP? Because you've been the leader of DP for the past 70 years, and they're making 70, 71 this year. So that means you, it's going to be 71 years that you are the leader from a Democratic Party. Are you going to pass on the mantle? And of course, Auntie Sarah answered in Auntie Sarah style like a lady. Here's her answer. You plan on when you decide, because you haven't made that announcement yet, when you do decide that, okay, I think it's time for me to, you know, just pass on this baton and move yeah. on and into the, into the sun, sail out yeah. into the sunset. Yeah. Um, Grace, you know, I, don't, I don't want to go into go into the passing on of the baton, not for the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the reference that you made and try to understand what passing on that was. If you get my drift, I hear you. <laughs> without, I hear you. without going into whatever they did and how they did it. I, I, I hope you understand. Okay. Because course. honestly, I was like, okay, so what does that mean? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? You know, um, is, it, is it like a familiar passing on? Oh, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what that passing on of the baton meant. If we're looking now, now, so put that aside, and then we're looking at the Democratic Party. Um, I think I think that has to come from this 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 group of people that are supportive of strengthening the Democratic Party going forward. And, and from there, and you ready. know, you will see. You That's you exactly. must see. You remember some years ago. Um, um, Grace, at one of my political meetings, I I stood up and I said, um, will the next Sarah stand up? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, really? Will the next person who feel yeah. that they can do what I did in 1994 when all the odds were against us? And mm -hmm. I stood up and I said, uh-uh, Democratic Party, you ain't going down. You ain't going down. Not 1994. Right. We're, going, we're, going to, we're going to push this thing forward. We, we're going to move. Okay, and we were at our lowest ever. Mm -hmm. And so, years after, I was like, okay, so when will the next era stand up? Because you gotta want it. Want you it, gotta right. want it, Grace. You gotta, you gotta, and you gotta, you gotta be committed to and understand what it is you want. You know, so I can pass, I can pass, what does it mean if I pass my baton to you, Grace? What does it mean? Yeah. I mean, not, honestly, what, what, what does it mean? You understand? If you're asking me, what about the, the future leadership of the party? Mm -hmm. Then I can answer you confidently, right. you know, and say, I am looking forward for the next series to stand up just mm -hmm. as confidently. You don't want to, to pass that baton and say, continue where I left off. I, yeah, I, 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 and again, again. That's different. I, I yes. don't understand different. it. I, do, I, I uh -huh. don't understand the context. I don't want to be too judgmental. But I'm telling you, if it, I've been talking about party. This, I, is, I, this is Sarah passing on a legacy. Mm -hmm. This is the Democratic Party. 
you know and and how do we ensure that it can it can be led and led well continuously um, right into the future that's yeah. that's, that's, that's is it me or you saw creature face because creature was like oh so you're not giving me the party you you just gonna hold on to it what is what does that mean like i thought she was going to announce here that i gonna be the next leader and you just holding it on like what's what's happening it's, it's my turn I want I, 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 DP, I want I back, my husband, grandfather party. Please? No? But in any case, um, it made me realize that, um, you know, a couple of years ago, Lady Grace asked um, MP Bryson of the United People's Party um, the same question. And at least he had a very honest answer. This is what he said at the time. I think um, we made a, a very clear agreement from the start that I would want to do this for two terms okay. as leader. Right. Um, I've asked and continue That's to ask. Years. That's eight years. So we do this first four term and we do the next term. Mm -hmm. um, I think after that term, whatever I decide po politically, I mean, I have other ambitions. I, I want to be a pilot one day. That's like another politics? thing. I do like politics, but it does weigh on you. And I do think the two term system is maybe something the party should implement permanently. Uh, because that creates a sort of a change and, and, and looks, you have to start to identify, okay, who can be the next leader or who wants to return to the party. But the, the main point is, is that I would like to fulfill those two terms. I think that we can do it. I think that we can perform well. And after those two terms, I certainly won't want to be leader again. I'm confident enough to say that publicly. Even if asked, I would say, guys, we should have already by now have an idea of who can, we can pass the baton to. Um, but right now, that, that is my focus. My focus right. is simply not on trying to hold on to it. We made an agreement. We'll try to stick to that agreement. And then from there, we, we see what is decided. What did we learn today, kids? We've learned that Auntie Sarah will be carried to the parliament building or the government administration building before she gives up the leadership of the Democratic Party. <laughs> oh, politics, sweet, oh, politics. I love it. All right, welcome to the Late Night Show. We have a good one for you. Let's begin. Hey, my God, my, God, my, God. my money cause you're bad. My money cause you're bad Take my money cause you're bad And fling up that big fat thing where you have Take my money cause you're bad Take my money cause you're bad Take my money cause you're bad And fling up that big fat thing where you have the baddest, the baddest, the baddest My money on that Spending the money on that Fire! Fire! Now watch ya A girl in the front of the party Rock out and wine mommy shake the bottom The way you wine can tell that you're naughty Bubble up your body hurt me keep my down Because you are the baddest, the baddest, the baddest Put my money on that, spending me money on that My girl, you are the baddest, the baddest, the baddest Put my money on that, spending me money on that DJ Jack Hey, my girl, take my money cause you're bad Take my money cause you're bad Take my money cause you're bad Take my money cause you're bad